Hey Scorpio, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 3rd through October the 7th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Scorpio for October the 3rd through October the 7th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Scorpio for October the 3rd through October the 7th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Scorpio for October the 3rd through October the 7th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Scorpio. Scorpio, this is a peek at your partner. Scorpio, your partner has the Seven of Wands. Your partner has the Knight of Swords. Your partner has Justice. Your partner has the Nine of Swords. And your partner has the Knight of Wands. So, Scorpio, your partner has a seven of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense, but this can also speak to them being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or excuse here. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that their standoff is shunning and setting boundaries. Or they're trying to come in and explain, give their explanation, excuse, or defense here. Clarify the seven of wands. For Scorpio's partner, clarify the seven of wands. For Scorpio's partner, clarify the seven of wands. For Scorpio's partner, it is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Scorpio could be dealing with an Aries, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or your partner is saying that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the fool for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the fool for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy, so listen, Scorpio, this could be about your partner's money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that maybe they're kind of defensive here or setting some type of boundaries because someone is wanting to take some type of risk or chance dealing with this abundance, money, assets, resources, property. Scorpio, your partner may want to come in and explain, give their explanation, excuse, or defense because they're wanting to take this leap of faith and maybe go into commitment here. Your partner could tell me that you guys were already in a commitment here and someone took a risk or a chance 
either they're trying to explain their position here for having taken a risk or a chance and you guys has already established commitment or they're kind of standoffish and shunning with you Scorpio because you took a risk or a chance here you know it could also be that someone standoffish and not wanting to take this risk or a chance because someone is already in a commitment Scorpio your partner has the knight of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius this is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking their truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's true. So, Scorpio, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with you, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. The King of Cups. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Scorpio, this is you. Clarify the king of cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the king of cups for Scorpio's partner. What does Scorpio's partner think of Scorpio? What does Scorpio's partner think of Scorpio? Clarify the King of Cups for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. Mm -mm. Now, Scorpio, I asked, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. Your partner may think there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business here. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Clarify the lovers for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the lovers for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the lovers for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a fated event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that everything between you guys has changed. Your partner could tell me it's an actual change in their luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. <clears throat> Clarify the wheel of fortune for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress. For Scorpio's partner, clarify the Empress. For Scorpio's partner, clarify the Empress.
for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. <clears throat> this is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging trying to numb out. Now Scorpio, very well could be some type of confrontation taking place here. You know, someone could be coming in with some type of proposal dealing with maybe a partnership with work or business that actually changes the luck and fortune here. Is this a partnership with you, Scorpio? And they're like trying to explain something here or setting some type of boundaries, dealing with this abundance and an actual change in luck and fortune where they're getting their wish. However, Scorpio, your partner could also tell me that there's a confrontation taking place here because you two are lovers. <clears throat> And maybe wanting to wait on divine timing here to nurture you guys' relationship further because, I don't know, someone could already be in a commitment. However, Scorpio, your partner could also tell me that there's a confrontation taking place here because you have another other lover. And you may be apologizing here, but they feel like, you know what, they're not ready to accept it yet, Scorpio? Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. Could also be like, <laughs> you guys are lovers and someone is maybe ready to take it to another level here and nurture the relationship further. Scorpio, I see so many dynamics here. Your partner has justice, could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what, I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner is dealing with something in the justice system. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Scorpio's partner. Clarify justice for Scorpio's partner. Clarify justice for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with death. <clears throat> This is you, Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So, Scorpio, this is you. Clarify death for Scorpio's partner. Clarify death for Scorpio's partner. What does Scorpio's partner think of Scorpio? What does Scorpio's partner think of Scorpio? Clarify death for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Scorpio, I ask, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now, Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that, you know, someone's initiating something here to transform things in the justice system, maybe the justice of the peace. Someone wants to take this leap and go into commitment because there's a proposal here. Scorpio, your partner could tell me that you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument here because there was some type of confrontation and someone is kind of, you know, standoffish here or setting some type of boundaries, you know, can tell me that we had this heated discussion or argument because something wasn't fair, balanced, or just. However, Scorpio, your partner could also tell me that you started a passionate new beginning with another other lover over here. Scorpio, another lover. Scorpio, this ace of wands in the hand. 
this wand in the hand. And they can feel like it wasn't fair, balanced, or just. And it very well could be that you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics is coming to an end because you took some type of risk or a chance here, Scorpio. Scorpio, your partner has the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Scorpio, your partner's all up in the head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clear for the Nine of Swords for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is something difficult. This is heavy. This is something that's burdensome to your partner, okay? This is stress for your partner. This is a ten, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So Scorpio, your partner's telling me that they're having a difficult time, something is burdensome, and they're just wanting to release it. So Scorpio, your partner's all up in their head, stressed and worried here, okay? They're burdened by something here, Scorpio. Either they're burdened by you having another other lover. They could be burdened because you guys are in a commitment and you have another other lover. They could be burdened by the fact that Someone here is in a commitment and you guys are lovers, Scorpio. Kind of anxious and stressed here, Scorpio. Your partner has the nine of wands, really? The knight of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that they're independently abundant on their own or they're single. Now Scorpio, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys had this rushing in, going off, going ham passionately here. With some type of an over some type of an agreement here concerning coins and abundance here, Scorpio, over the money. Scorpio, your partner could tell me that there was a rushing and going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument, and now you guys are becoming single. Scorpio, your partner could tell me that we're becoming single because someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere with this other lover with this wand in hand here, Scorpio. Hmm. Or is someone in a rush to become single so that you guys could have some type of situationship going on here because someone could already be in a commitment still? I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner, Scorpio. And so, I love you unconditionally. Oh, wow. I love you unconditionally. What else for Scorpio's partner? What else for Scorpio's partner? And it says, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So there's a lesson here. I love you unconditionally and I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson, Scorpio. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 3rd through October the 7th, 2023. 
You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.